All right, we're sitting here today with Corey Jenkins, the current USPA drug tested national champion in the 110 kilogram class. So uh, he's been a member of ours, kind of been coming around the gym, and everyone watches this guy lift. And I just wanted to do a quick interview to introduce him to our community and kind of get a little bit about his story because he's an exceptional uh, lifter. Uh, so welcome, Corey. Yes, sir, thank you. Uh, how did you get started in, in lifting weights? Like how long ago, what was your inspiration? So I've always looked for football. Um, ever since I was five years old, I played football. So my thing was get bigger, stronger, faster. Um, joined the military after 18. Um, and from there, like football was kind of done. So it's kind of like get stronger. I don't know. And I just, I've always had a, a factuation with just like not limiting the human body, like trying to push the body as far as it can go, like healthy wise, like strength wise, speed wise. So I randomly discovered powerlifting on Facebook and just fell in love with it ever since. Were, were you like always the strongest guy on your football team? Stuff like no, that? no, actually, uh, <laughs> growing up, up until probably my senior year, I was probably one of the smallest dudes on my football team really? until I came in the military and started eating. So uh, <laughs> I was always been super fast, but like super small as well. So. That happened to me in, in football. I, I played football through high school. I was like the runt of the entire team. And so a couple years later, I was like, you know, 200 pounds. Everyone's like, <laughs> yeah. what happened to you? I was like, I just kept eating and lifting weights. Yes, <laughs> That's awesome. So at uh, national championships, you set a couple world records. You set yes, the world record in the squat and the deadlift. Yes, sir. And I'm assuming the total too, right? Yes. That's awesome. So what, um, when you went into that day, were you like expecting I'm going to win the national championship? Or what, what were you expecting? So I've never done a huge like national level meet before. So for me, it's always been like local meets and not being cocky or anything, but I do go in those meets thinking like I'm going to win like hands down, whatever. Um, but this particular meet, I knew a lot of the lifters who were gonna be there. And for me, it wasn't necessarily like my weight class I was going for the win for, but I was trying to win overall. Once they put like money on the line, that was like my motivation for <laughs> trying to win the whole thing. So um, this meet, I went in not conservative, but like knowing that, hey, this is gonna be a battle. Like it's gonna come down to the last pull or make sure I execute all lifts and from there. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, it was fun. We were all watching you here at the gym. We had the live stream going, and people were cheering you. I was watching. I wasn't here. I was watching from my phone, and yes, sir. you had a huge uh, following here at Tucson Strength. We, yes, we, were, we were supporting you. When when you were when you know we all watch you train here. You yes, sir. you kind of you coach yourself. Yes. So tell us a little bit about like your personal training philosophy, and kind of like how you just kind of basics of how you program for yourself. Um, so it's. It's not the smartest in terms of, I guess, how most people do it. So most people kind of like train and coach like a certain way, like linear progression. And I do myself do linear progression as well. But if it's a session where like I come in, I'm feeling good, I'm just going to like send it. So what <laughs> it's a <laughs> max squat, bench or deadlift. And I had that freedom since I do coach myself. I know my body like um, I'm not going to wait to just say the end of an eight week block to test it. If I'm feeling it and I'm feeling strong, I had a bunch of food in my system, it's time for me to send it. But for the most part, it's just linear progression. Like um, if I have a meat plan, just say six months out, I start at month six and I work my way down, creating a program for myself and just build on to that. Right. But I've always been, uh, if you're feeling it, just go for it. And I do kind of coach a few people as well. And I give them that same like freedom as well. Like we're not going to send it every week, but if you're feeling good and your numbers, like your training numbers are going up and everything's looking smooth and technical, it might be a session you just want to send that you're feeling good, you know? Right. Not only if it just like you're getting strong, but also a confidence booster. So that's what I look for as well. Do you ever feel like some days you walk in the gym and you just really scale it back? Because all your weights here when we're watching you, nothing looks scaled back because you lift so much weight. So a light day for you is like ungodly for most people. But <laughs> <laughs> When I first started off, um, I wasn't really a scaling back, but that was just a younger me. Didn't know what I was doing. Just coming here, just lift the biggest weights possible. But now that I'm older, my body feels it a lot more. So it's some days I'd be like, um, instead of a top single or top double, I'm just going to stick to a solid three sets of eight, and that'd be my top set. So I'm really good at listening to my body now. So right. I'll stick to the program to a certain extent, but if I'm not feeling it, I will scale back. If I'm feeling good. I'll scale up. 
right. Yes, sir. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I think that's like, you know, injury prevention is, yes. is the, I always tell people like, you know, you only have so many injuries in your, in your yes. wheelhouse or so many setbacks you can yes, have, sir. especially as we get older. So that's great. With, um, with everything that, you know, because you, with your, you travel a lot too. I know you're here and then all too of a sudden much. you're gone. You're, you're in the military. Yes, so they sir. just take it. So how do you organize all of that when you're like traveling for six weeks and you don't know what type of gym you're going to be in? My wife, she hates every time I pack because every time we're packing, whether it's vacation, or I'm going on a TDY or deployment, my gym stuff goes first, then my uniform, and then my <laughs> extracurricular clothes. So, like, I always know that I'm going to have a gym no matter where I go because, I mean, obviously deployment, we care about fitness. It's a good de-stressor and stuff like that. TDYs, um, if it's on a base, I'll go on base. But if we go, just say, like, the Philippines, there was no, like, base to go to there was no gym and there was only a small hotel gym so I mean I did what I can but if you see me live here I'm always at advance or something so if I don't have enough weights for a hotel gym I'm gonna add a band to it do some type of contraption just to make it harder so I've always seemed to be able to make it work no matter where I'm at and the traveling it does suck because I mean I got back from deployment in April after that I TDY it took another trip and then I went to New Jersey. Next week I'm going to San Antonio. I get back and then I'm going to South Carolina. So yeah. it's been up and down, but I just always find a way to make it work. Uh, that's, 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 that's the name of the game. I, yes, one, of, one of the lifters here, he sent me a video the other day of him like in some gym in like middle of nowhere. And he's like lifting on a chrome bar with like, like 525s on each side. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> no. uh, you know, also, you know, one, one cool thing I see about you, you know, being the national champ, strongest dude in the gym, you're always talking to people. And I, I see like, you know, kind of inspiring younger lifters here and just kind of give it, like, what, what's your advice, like the younger lifter out there that is just starting out, they see you lifting, they see a lot of these guys on the internet lifting these huge weights. And you know, you're a drug tested lifter. You're, yes, you're, you're, that's, it's amazing, like you're hitting num amazing numbers. But what is some of your advice you'd give to some of the newer lifters out there just starting their journey? Um, biggest thing I I got told at my first so my first meet was military nationals in 2017 and first meet ever I've only trained two months prior to that but a lot of the older guys like a lot of masters lifters kind of like see now I was new at it and kind of like took me under their wing and it's like hey we see that you're you're not like a cocky lifter or anything like that but like make sure you're like forever a student don't think you know it all like don't think there's like this one specific way to deadlift that you see on the internet and everyone doing, one specific way to squat, like, like find what works for you and just keep hammering it down. Like for me, consistency is key. So whether it's consistently coming to the gym or cons consistently sticking to the program, anything that you consistently do, I think is gonna add up over time. Right. That and um, you hear a lot of time in the military, like um, it's a marathon, not sprint. Sprint, you kind of get hurt. Marathon, longevity, that's what you're looking for. So. That's my biggest thing, like stay a student of the game um, and cons make sure consistency is key. Yeah. Whether it's lifting or anything in life, really. I mean, I think a lot of young lifters, we see like they, they just, they want to kind of keep getting stronger and like it takes time to build that yes. foundation. Like you said, you were the smallest guy yes, sir. playing and then it's like now you're national champ, right? Yes, so sir. it's kind of like, you know, that's the thing I try to tell them, you know, they're, they're struggling with their bench right now. I'm like, just hit these weights, you know, yes. don't worry about next week, worry about where you're at two years from now or yes. three years from now being consistent. Like, yeah, luckily, like, my wife's super understanding on, like, my, like, gym routine. So before I met her, like, I was always in the gym, and she's seen that and kind of, like, took that on. So she, she knows after work three or four hours, I'm not going to be there. She's going to take care of the house, take care of the kids, and, like, the gym is my time. But, like, just making it my routine and sticking it to it, like, not, like, deviating from it or anything like that. Like, right. It's, I'll go on vacation, and the first thing I'm doing is looking up a gym. Even I'm not gonna like ruin our vacation time, but I'll wake up at three, four in the morning to find a gym before we get yeah. our day started. I, so. I do the same thing. I get up, hit my workout before the family even gets up. So. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Well, you know, man, I don't wanna take up any more of your time. I know you're here to work out, but I know when you're getting ready to leave us, you're getting yes, ready sir. to relocate with the military. And I just wanna say thank you for uh, being with us for so long, and it's been, it's just been awesome having you with us here at Tucson Strength, man. You've been a pleasure to be around and you've added to our community. Like you really, you give back, you're talking with the young people, you, you sit in there, just, you become a part of this place yes, and um, we're gonna miss you and you know, best wishes to you, my friend. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna miss this. This is definitely by far the best gym I've ever been as far as 
the family, the equipment, like everything about this gym is like top notch. So, like I said, I scoped out gyms where I'm going next, and nothing just nothing compares. So I'm definitely gonna miss it, but. We plan on taking trips back to the west coast or to the west side of the U.S. and then we're definitely gonna make our way back here. But cool. Definitely gonna miss it. Yeah, man. Miss well, the whole family, everyone here. Well, best of wishes to you and your journeys, and just thank you for everything, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome.